Hello, I'm Margie Fink, and today I'm here with the Foster Care and Adoption Book Review for Adults. To the end of June, The Intimate Life of American Foster Care by Chris Bean. This is what Barnes & Noble has to say. Who are the children of foster care? What as a country do we owe them? Chris Beam, a foster mother herself, spent five years immersed in the world of foster care, looking into these questions and tracing first-hand stories. The result is Beam shows us the intricacies of growing up in the system, the back and forth with agencies, the rootless shuffling between homes, the emotionally charged tug between foster and birth parents, the terrifying push out of foster care and into adulthood. Humanizing and challenging a broken system to the end of June offers a tribute to resiliency and hope for real change. This book um, was one that I really got a lot out of. It really talked about the history of foster care in the U.S., talked about the issues with it. It's not a problem-solving book. It doesn't list out this is the way that we need to fix the system. It just basically talks about the issues involved um, for the kids, the birth parents, the adoptive parents, the foster parents, the caseworkers, just all around what the system is like and the history of it. And um, it does a good job of showing many different types of foster families, from single parents to married and different worldviews, different types of setups of families. And she just does an excellent job of portraying just what life is like. And as a reader, I had some aha moments myself um, when my recent blogs actually compares the feelings that a child is having at finalizing adoption. Um, she talked about kind of how sometimes that leads to behaviors when the finalization is coming up and the fact that um, to the child this is saying this is it. There is no more going back to your birth family. This is your permanent family and kind of what those, that feels like and in my head that made me think a lot about um, adoptive parents and about infertility and what feelings you go through as a mom who's never given birth, who's having a hysterectomy, and just the finality of that. So there were just some great aha moments that I had myself as I was reading. Um, great book. I highly recommend it.